Hey guys, so it's Tuesday, and my name's Steph. Oh, and I would like to say that I got my hair cut. If you didn't notice, in like the last 10 seconds. Anyway, cut most of the black out, so my brown hair is showing. Which is good. I'm trying to get that to show. Um, if you've been watching, last week we didn't upload because, well, because we had Thanksgiving. That's not really the main reason why, though. Um, Monday, Lily couldn't upload because her cat ate her webcam. Uh, apparently, cats eat webcams now. I, I really don't know. And Tuesday, I was stuck in traffic for about an hour. Like, and that was just a couple miles from my house. So it was pretty pathetic. And I was so stressed out, and I couldn't deal with it at all. So, yeah. And now this week, we're obviously uploading because I have a video right now, and you're watching it. Yeah. So, our topic for this week is depression. And, like, the other weeks, we really don't have anything to talk about. Like, any certain things to talk about. It's basically just your opinion, and experience, explanation, all that stuff. So, I guess I'll start with my experiences. When I was a little girl, I used to cry myself to sleep almost every night because I grew up without a mom. I met her a couple years ago, so that's, that's already taken care of, but I grew up without a mother and I didn't have a woman figure in my life, so it was kind of really tough. And then when I got to elementary school, I got bullied because I was a tomboy, except I was raised like that, so I don't know. I think everyone should have a mother figure growing up, even if you're a guy, like, you really need a mother figure. You need a father figure too, but you do need a mother one. Anyways, and then after middle school that goes into middle s elementary school. Elementary school goes into middle school. So then middle school, well, if you watch the eating disorders video, then you would understand that middle school was extremely rough for me. I was going through so many things, and so many people were dying around me, and, oh my gosh, like, that was, that was terrible. But, I don't know. It was really hard. Like, I just came out as being gay. And everyone was just... <sighs> Sorry, my video just... Okay. Everyone was being all... <sighs> to me. And Man, I lost so many friends. But that was, like, true depression there. I had a psychiatrist. I had medication. I had all that shit. Sorry, I say that word a lot. Anyways. So right now I'm in high school, I'm a senior, and I wouldn't say that I'm depressed. Like, sure I get sad sometimes, everyone gets sad sometimes, but it's not depression, I know what depression is, but I do have a loved one who's depressed, and it's really hard knowing that I can't do anything, like I can't cure them. But just making them laugh and smile means everything. Because I know that inside they're truly fighting this illness they have. Depression is a mental illness and it needs to be taken seriously. Um, everyone, everyone, absolutely everyone goes through depression sometime in their life. Like, it may not be serious, like, it may not be clinical depression, but everyone gets depressed. I don't know what else to say about that. I mean, yeah, I know that 17.5 Americans, though, are suffering with it, and two-thirds of them don't seek the help that they need. I mean, they're... They're going to be way better off if they actually do seek the help that they need to get. Like, they're going to have such a happier life. 
And trust me, a happy life is a good life. Just like a happy wife is a good wife. Just change the wife with wife. I don't know, it's Tuesday. Just. <laughs> okay, um. Yeah, and women also are two times more likely to get depression, depression than men are. I mean, I'm not really sure why that is. It might just be the hormones and the fact that women are far more emotional and sensitive than the guys. Well, most, most guys. Yeah, um, I don't know. If you have depression, or if you know anyone who has the signs of depression, you should definitely seek help, because life will get better if you allow it to get better, if you seek help, if you find and surround yourself with all the happiness that you can get, then your life will definitely be way better. I mean, you don't... Okay. Depression usually leads to suicide, and in 1996, it was the ninth most death rate thing in America, and that's just 1996. It's 2013 now. Like, that's probably ranked higher now. Because, I mean, we have the repression and all this dark shit and people get depressed about that. But, I don't know. Depression is extremely serious and everyone should take it serious. Sure, it's not a broken leg, and, I mean, society accepts you having a broken leg way more than it does you having a mental illness, which is pretty pathetic. Like, it's, it's really stupid, because they're both illnesses, you're just judging one way differently than the other, and you shouldn't, you shouldn't really do that, society should not do that, society is, society's messed up. I'm just going to say that before I go on a rant. Society's extremely messed up. Anyways. So, yeah. Depression is serious, guys. And you should definitely seek help if you have it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to stop there. So, thanks guys for watching. It'd be really nice if you would subscribe, like, comment or share the video, all of our videos, like, watch all the other ones. And Lily should be uploading tonight, because she didn't do it tomorrow. So, try and watch for that. And I will see you guys next week. Bye, thank you again.